Hey, bro, you still with Mom Boys? What happened with you and Vanoss on that road trip? What's up with Kate? Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen Ludwig do this. I've seen Puffer do this. I've seen a bunch of streamers do this. But today, I'm going to be doing the most honest Q&A ever. You guys in the chat are going to be able to ask any question you want. Absolutely nothing is off limits. You can go as far as you want with these questions. I have to answer it as honestly as possible. However, there is a few things I'm not going to want to answer. So if I don't want to answer your question, I give you $100. All you got to do is simple. You're going to type question, all caps in the chat. Yeah, okay. 69 eligible users. All right, it's working. It's working. Question, all caps in chat. If you do not have a question and you get picked, I'm giving you 30 seconds to come up with a question. Like I said, nothing is off limits. Ask me whatever you want. And if I don't want to answer it, I'm giving you $100. All right, first question coming in from this guy. He says, what's your credit card info? I got to make some sort of rule where they... <laughs> This guy just big brain the whole system. I gotta make some sort of rule where shit like this is not allowed. You said anything on the table? Bro, is this guy, is this guy really gonna fucking make me pay him $100 right now? Chat, do I pay him yes or no? Wait, let me run a poll. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, yo, where, where the no voters at? Dude just big brain the fuck out of me, man. Congrats, brother. You're the, you're the first person to get $100. Well played. I wasn't gonna pay you, but the chat says, 73% of the chat says I have to, which is stupid, but you know what? Okay. All right, great first question. Moving on. But hold on. You might be asking, how do I have the money to pay these people for these inappropriate questions that I don't want to answer? Well, that's thanks to today's video sponsor. Today's video was sponsored by World of Tanks. World of Tanks is one of the hottest PC games out, and it's free to play, and there's over 100 million players worldwide. The game has more than 600 different customizable tanks with destroyers, artillery, light, medium, and heavy tanks. There's always a new way to play this game. You can drive your tanks through open fields and deserts and climb up steep hills, sneak through the forest, and even play your matches in urban and industrial zones. There is literally over 40 different arenas that you can play in. The cool part about this game is that it's inspired by history. The historical accuracy means authentic models and vehicles. When you're playing this game, you feel like you're inside of a real tank. It's insane! This game is super fun, man. You can earn experience, modify and upgrade your tank, creating yourself a steel beast that's ready for any challenge. And look, man, if you want to try it out, now is the perfect time to do so. You can download World of Tanks using the first link in the description. During the registration, if you use the code TANKMANIA, you'll get 7 days of a premium account for free, 2 250,000 credits, the premium tank Excelsior, and three rental tanks for 10 battles each. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below in the description to get started. Thank you so much again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back into these embarrassing questions. This should be fun. How much am I going to pay in taxes? I have no idea. Thankfully, I didn't pay them yet. If you ask me tomorrow how much should I pay in taxes, I'd have to tell you. But I'm being truthfully 100% honest with you when I say I have zero clue. It's going to be a lot of money. Last year was the most money I've ever made in a year, so that means I pay the most taxes in it. Do I smoke? Um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I do smoke weed, though. Not very frequently. Maybe a couple times a month. I haven't, honestly, since I made the Omega Wahai video, and that was over a month ago, so I haven't smoked in a month, but it's very relaxing. If I have a long day of work, I'll... I'll do that after, and it's very, it, it turns my brain off. It helps me turn my brain off. Did you like your childhood? Did I like my childhood? I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What's the best head you've ever seen? <laughs> Honestly, we should take from TTS. I like that question better. <laughs> do I like my childhood? Um, you know, I'm learning in therapy that a lot of things that, you know, a lot of problems in your childhood are like how you treat things as an adult and how you handle situations. So growing up, I, my parents weren't there for me very much. I learned from an early age that I had to be there for myself. And yeah, I still have that mentality to this day, which is not a bad thing. Like I'm like overly self-sufficient. Like I don't take advice from anyone. I mean, I do, I do. But like, I don't lean on anybody emotionally. So yeah, that's a very deep answer to that question. But yeah. <laughs> you ever stole something from someone and they asked you about it and you lied? Yeah. Yeah, my mom, I used to steal money from my mom all the time. And when I first started making money on YouTube, I, I took $500 and I put it in her purse and I didn't even tell her about it. And I was like, that should cover all the money I stole as a kid to buy RuneScape membership. Penis length. He's not specifically asking for my penis length. That is uh, a way I could get out of this question. I actually did say this in a video once upon a time. My editor censored it. My editor knows how big my penis is. Weird information for that man to know. I just think it's a weird thing to talk about. I just think it's way too weird to to, to publicly say. Send the mods your PayPal, Alex. Alex, um, yeah, send the mods your PayPal. Go ahead. Good job, good job, good job. Out of every offensive slur, which would you say to your mom? I don't really say any to my mom. 
But if I had to pick one, uh, motherfucker, I guess that would make sense, right? Since she's my mom, motherfucker. What's my biggest regret? Yeah, that's a good question. I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. So honestly, I don't think I have many regrets. There is maybe some stuff I wish I could have did differently, but you learn from those mistakes. This is a real bullshit answer, but I'm being completely honest. Like when you fuck up so bad, the response you get from that, it trains your brain. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to feel this again. When you fuck up a relationship and you go through heartbreak and you realize everything you did wrong. Okay, I don't regret it because I learned from this. Like I'm never going to do this shit again. I don't think I, I, I can't even like handpick a regret. So that, that would be my answer to that question. That's what my grandma would say. It is what it is. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. That's what I'm saying. Explain in the most detail possible when and how did you lose your virginity? Okay, it's not that embarrassing. Um, it was New Year's Eve. It was so it was I think before the ball dropped. So it was 2015. Obviously after my balls drop, but before the the New Year's ball drop. So I, I had a long distance girlfriend at the time. I met her. Um, I flew her out to to meet me. I actually met her on Twitter when I was. 17 and yeah we had sex i think it was on the floor in my room but afterwards i dapped her up and i said hey we're no longer virgins because it was her first time too and i was like yeah dap me up so that was a true story that happened all right hey bro you still with mom boys i don't think it's a thing at this current state in time i think it honestly disbanded as a whole like the collective of it. I'm still friends with some of the guys. Um, some of the guys, not so much. You know, I, I have no bad feelings towards anybody. Those guys are my brothers, man. I grew up with them and I love them very much. Um, dude, not chaos though, bro. Fuck chaos. <laughs> See, that was an honest answer. I'm not fucking- Oh! Fuck, I'm not fucking around here, boys. I'm not fucking around. Would you quit YouTube and Twitch if you won the lottery? No, no, no way. I literally do this shit for fun now. Like, I don't, the money is great. Like, I'm, I'm setting myself up for my future. Yeah, I'm not reliant on the money at all. Like, it, as long as it pays my rent and I can give back to other people, like, on top of that, that's amazing. Was there a point in your life where you thought you were gay? I like this question. I like this question because I'm going to honestly answer it. I'm not going to fucking dodge it. I think if you never question your sexuality, you probably should. Because, like, I don't know, maybe you just, like, think you're straight completely but like i had to go through a a questioning phase and this is oh my god i don't want to say this <laughs> never mind yes okay yes yes i didn't ever experiment with it it's because of my asexuality because i i, I go through periods of that where i'm like not a, like women literally throwing themselves at me not to weird flex i know but like I, and it's just like i'm not affected by it so like i'm like maybe i am gay but turns out i'm not <laughs> yo, yo 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 hold on i gotta turn donation alerts on for this my biggest fan Appreciate it. Call Puffer and tell him you're gay. Dude, thank you for the $70, Pike. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm streaming. Yeah, uh, me too, actually. I just wanted to say I am homosexual, and you were the first person I wanted to tell. Hold on. I knew it all along. I'm happy. I'm seriously happy for you, Crispy. Thank you for coming out, man. All right, no problem. Have a good stream. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. That's just like, I don't want to. What is the worst or weirdest hookup and why? Okay, I can tell that story. I think I'll go with worst. I think it was just a girl that was completely silent the entire time. The energy was very off in the room. Just like not even the word from from her. So it made me feel like super uncomfortable. Yeah, very awkward, man. Very, very strange and awkward. It was a dude. No, it wasn't a dude. <laughs> Have you ever had a bad encounter with any dude? I mean, bad. Yeah. Uh, like what, like, what are you talking? Like physical altercation, like a fight? Cause I can tell a couple of stories. I have one in my mind in particular. Yes. Okay. That's what he wants to hear. That's what he wants to hear boys. Off the top of my head. This is the most recent fight I've been in. It was in LA at a nightclub, this dude walking around the club, steps on my shoe. I had Yeezy 350 boots on, expensive pair of shoes. I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad. I said, hey bro, no problem. Shake my hand, it's completely fine. Dude refused to shake my hand. I kept pushing it. Hey bro, shake my hand. I wanna make sure we're good. Dude said, get the fuck out of my face. I was like, hey bro, shake my fucking hand. I wanna make sure we're good. Dude slapped me across the face. His middle finger, he had a ring on it, hit me in my eye. Immediately after he slaps me, Dude gets pulled out of the club, so that's not really a cool story, but <laughs> answers your question, right? Sharp! Let's go! Sharp is my old roommate from back in the day. Yo, what happened to TKT? <laughs> Nobody's ever told this story. And like, if you're watching this video and you don't know what TK is, this, this part of the video is not gonna make sense, but I used to live with these guys uh, called TK. We all disbanded. 
Nobody's ever told this story about like what actually happened. It was kind of just like a fucking mystery. Sharp wants me to reveal it right now. Sharp wants me to drop the truth. What happened to TK is it's so long out of my memory that I, f I honestly forgot. This is such a shitty answer, but like we just like grew apart. Everybody moved out. Sharp moved out. Joey moved out. Ham moved out. Um, so at the end, it was just me, Justin and Chaos. Chaos said, fuck this, I'm out. And like me and Justin were like the only two left. Look, looking back, it definitely could have been ran better, of course. I'm not gonna publicly trash anything Kaz did because he did a lot. Um, I think he did a good job with, with a lot of things, but there is a lot of things we could have did better collectively, of course. That's the best answer to that question, right? <laughs> I just saw that in the chat. Oh, that's what you said. Oh no, I thought I saw it in the chat. I was like, no, I don't want to answer that. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because you saw the video where I said I'm never gonna talk about this I'm never gonna talk about this and it's out of like respect like I, I don't I don't know Evan that well I'm not gonna publicly like out here say you know shit like that But it's just a funny experience that we had together. Congratulations. That is a hundred dollar question. Good job What is the biggest cause of stress for you right now? And what worries you most? I love this question Wow, you actually want to get to know me on a personal level My job as a creator is the most stressful thing ever and it stresses me out more than anything I don't know if you could tell with my channel, but I at least try and like level up every single week There's some weeks where i'm just like fuck I can't think of anything You know video ideas stress me out more than anything and like been looking for someone to help me think of stuff Because like I think that would help me be more productive. I'm looking to, I've been looking to hire a team Um because right now it's literally just me my editor and that's it. Even with my editor, after he's done editing the video, we will sit in the call for 12 hours just going through it together. And like that takes up so much fucking time because I'm like, bro, don't cut it there. You got to cut it here. You got to do this. You got to do that. You gotta do that. It's just like, I want to get to a point where he just like edits the whole video. But that's what every, like I tell other YouTubers that, my other YouTube friends are like, bro, you're fucking insane. And like, I know I am. I know I am. But I, I just, I don't know. I need the final product to be up to my standard. I can't just post something. And no, he's not a bad editor. I, I think I have the best editor ever. I've invested everything I know into this man. There just needs to be a, a point where, you know, we can fully be on the same page, which it's very difficult for him to read my mind. I understand. I'm not, I'm not going to blame him. If I invest everything I know into Eric though and then he leaves me for fucking Mr. Beast or something though then I will probably kill myself in game in game in game twitch in game what's up with Kate okay I'm gonna be honest with you guys okay she was never real she was just a figment of your imagination no all right the truth the truth um I talked about it before and I kind of want to start up an advice channel where like you guys write in with any questions and I'm gonna do my best to help you out <laughs> Uh, I think the first video on that channel is gonna be about breakups and I, I could like briefly touch about it there But I think like I'm not interested in exploiting my trauma for views, but I can definitely make a video talking about how I recovered from The worst heartbreak I've ever had. I don't know I, I, I really want to make that channel and like I think maybe in that video I could briefly touch on like the situation I'm not gonna like go over the whole thing But like and obviously I don't want to make her look like a bad person because she's not I think it's just we didn't work out and that's what it is, but I can tell a little bit of the story and why I think it didn't work out. You know what? Fuck it. By the time this video comes out that you're watching, that channel is going to be made and, you know, maybe that video will be up or, you know, the channel will be made at least. So I'm going to I'm going to link it down below in the description. There is a sponsor on this video, but it, it's going to be below that. And everybody watching this, go sub to that channel, OK? Need another 100K plaque. OK, for the remaining portion of this video, let's just do bits. I don't want to scam you guys, but like you guys are... <laughs> not coming up with good questions here and if you have a question just send in bits and we'll go we'll do it from there i'm still giving out a lot of money if you ask me a tough enough question and i don't want to answer it free money but yeah let's speed run through these let's go crispy you look like billy russo from the punisher look him up i've i've looked it up and that man is so fucking sexy every time someone says that my ego inflates most beautiful man i've ever seen in my life stop telling me that man i'm about to I'm about to be cocky as hell. On YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch during your entire career. Wow. See, that's a good question. Like, you want to know, like, everything. Like, throughout the, the 10 years that I've been doing this, that's your question? Uh, my editor gets a hold of this information. He's going to start asking for a raise, you know? <laughs> So it might be more financially responsible for me to just give you $100. I think it's in the ballpark of what you would expect. I'm going to pay you money. I'm going to pay you money because I feel like it's also weird that I'm like, I don't want to flex on you guys and like ever tell you that I have this mass amount of wealth when, you know, I, I've, I've definitely made a lot of money, but I've spent a lot of it. Anyways, let's keep going. There's a lot of people to get through. Out of every company that has ever sponsored you, which company has the absolute most dog shit product? <laughs> W question. Yeah, that's actually a sick question. That's a sick twisted question because this will ensure that they will never sponsor me again. I'm trying to think back to like back in the day. Okay, the first ever sponsor I did, this is a very cheap question because I would never take a sponsor from them again. But when I, it was in 20... 
14, I'm gonna say, I got paid $300 to make a whole entire video on this app. It was called, it was an app that you downloaded and on the app, you would spin this wheel and you would earn like currency. And then with that currency, you would be able to buy, like say you spun the wheel every day, you would eventually be able to buy a pair of shoes. I did use it and I did redeem for a gift card once. So I don't think it was a scam. It was just a really sketchy app. So that is a dog shit product, but it was my first ever sponsorship. By the way, in the middle of this video, uh, I forgot to mention, I opened the PO box. It's the information is going to be right here. I'm going to be doing a video where I unbox everything you guys send me. So send me uh, ridiculous items, please. You can send me fan art. You can send me letters. Like I'll, I'll, I'll I would appreciate literally anything. You know, wacky, crazy stuff will make for a really funny video. Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. dude. Throughout as the Moan Boys makes the worst content. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> You know what? I don't want to give you money. I kind of want to give a constructive answer. And this is something I, I told him to his face. If Chaos stopped making superhero videos, he would be the biggest YouTuber ever. Like, if he stopped playing games and, like, did public videos, he has so much potential, and I just want to get it out of him. I want I, I, I want to fucking scream at him, man. He's so much potential. He's so funny and, like, so much ability to create. There's so much potential in him that, you know, are you still here, Chaos? I hope you heard that, motherfucker. Who was in Paris? Say it or pay it. Say it or pay it. Uh, the Rugrats were in Paris in 1999. They had a whole film about it. Great piece of cinematography. When was the last time you cried like really? Oh, cried for real? Why? For real, y'all want to know? Okay. I think just during the, you know, the breakup, breaks up, uh, breakups are hard, man. Breakups are hard. And it's very beneficial to get that emotion out of you instead of bottling it and keeping it in because then you're only doing a disservice to yourself. So yeah, I cried a lot. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I'll be fucking vulnerable. Who cares, man? Favorite person when people told you jokes in NYC? Oh, okay. Good, good question. I would have to say the elderly gentleman who didn't sit in the chair. I did laugh at his joke, but he wasn't sitting in the chair and that was part of the rule. When he was just roasting the rhinoplasty guy. The rhinoplasty guy kept spitting in my face, by the way. If you look, if you watch that video back, you can see me turn and look away from him because he spit in my face probably four or five times. I'm very surprised I didn't catch whatever, <laughs> whatever he had. I'm not saying he had anything, but he was a very nice guy too. Um, that whole situation, it was one of the best moments captured on camera. In my homie to homie, you are hot as love, bro. Chat will agree, but do you ever get insecure about your looks if someone comments on it? No, 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 no. Not, not if someone comments on it. I'm not, I'm not confident every day. Confidence is a thing that like, I don't know, I have to be feeling a some type of way. Um, and like, if I'm having a non-confident day, I have those, you know, it's, it's, it's normal. Crispy, did girls like you when you were in school? Nah, I had a crush on one girl, asked her to prom, she said no. Uh, no, this was homecoming. So I had a girl, I had a girlfriend during prom and she was the girl I met on Twitter. The girls in my school weren't fucking with me. I, I don't, now it's, I don't know. I don't know what, what the situation is like now, but I, they weren't fucking with me back then, man. It, they didn't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. <laughs> what streamers have you had lewd thoughts on? Oh my God, what? Dude, what? Definitely some. Amaranth? Uh, oh, bro, Karinikov. I've got a bit of a crush on Karinikov. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be the first to admit it, it's okay. We're gonna collab someday, don't worry. What exact price did you pay for taxes last year? What exact price did I pay for taxes last year? That's absurd. That is absurd. Because I actually underpaid and I got a letter from the IRS. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but they, they asked me for more money. So the exact price, I'm not too sure. I don't have that information on my computer, but it was about $60,000 in taxes last year, which is fucking insane. A lot of fucking money that just like goes to the government for no reason. What's the weirdest thing you've done in bed? The weirdest thing I've done in bed, um, sleep. <laughs> maybe the words mommy came out of my mouth once or twice. I'm, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's happened. Maybe just maybe it's happened Two more and then we're done. Actually, no, this is the last one. This is the last one. Last one. Oh my God. Name all of your exes and who you hate the most. I have two. I have two. I mean, maybe three, but like one of them was like a really short relationship. I don't count it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't hate any of them. I don't, I, I hate nobody. I hate literally nobody. I, in fact, I wish, I hope nothing but success for all of them. And I value the time we spent together. And that's the end of the fucking video. We did it. Let's go. Holy shit. Three hours of mind blowing questions. I think I gave away what? $500. That wasn't even that bad. I'm going to do this again. I have to do this again because I want to give away more money. I want to, What's uh, the most illegal thing you have done? Yeah, illegal thing I've done. I used to tag graffiti as a kid or USPS had these like postal stickers. I used to tag them and put them on stop signs and that was very illegal. And I thought I was going to go to jail at the age of 14, but I never got caught. So you know what? There's another bonus question. Thanks for watching everybody. That was a fun time here on twitch.tv. Please check out the stream link in the description. Also brand new channel link in the description. Also subscribe. Bye.
Bruh.